This week, I have mostly been listening to electronica, a cappella, folk, and rock. This is the forum this week. Hey everybody and welcome to this week's show. We've got a jam-packed one for you this week, starting out with a brand new segment from CJ from Kobe a good friend of the forum here. Here's Eclectric. Hi, I'm CJ and welcome to a new segment at the forum this week, where I'll be taking a look at the dark depths of the electronic music scene. Today I'm joined by local artist Frost, but before we meet the man, let's hear a little of what he does. So hello and thank you for joining us. Thank you. Um, so if you could just start off by telling us a little bit about what it is that you do and your live setup when you perform. Yeah, okay. So my project is called Frost, uh, which is my surname. Uh, and my project is based around a one-man band uh, where I play live drums uh, and electronics with my left hand. So why did you decide to play solo? Basically, I, I, I don't know. I just kind of... I, I, I was, I've always been in bands since I was about 14, 15, and I, I got to a certain point where um, I thought, hang on, I'm, I'm just the drummer here, so whatever I do, um, I, I've just got to sort of play songs that other people have written, and um, so I, I don't know, really, I just, I just kind of got a bit fed up of playing in a band and always having to rely on other people, other people's ideas, so I just thought, one day I thought, I'm, I'm going to do it myself. Um, so, you know, I, it took me a while to get to the idea I've got now. I mean, I, I did my first live show um, a year last July, and I was, I was pretty nervous. Um, but, you know, it's, it's fine now. I think I think it was just the transition from just being the guy at the back that nobody notices as much as, you know, the singer or whatever. And then to, to being like the sole focus on stage, um, sort of, yeah, I put a lot of pressure on myself that but it, once I got once I did the first gig I was like oh, it's no big deal really you know it's all it's okay <laughs> and um, now you last played the forum as part of local and live festival um, yes. what's your history with the venue in general as both a performer and a, and a fan yeah well um I, I moved to the area uh, around about four years ago and uh, I'd, I'd heard of the forum before you know just in the back of magazines so you see like two listings and stuff but I'd, I'd never been here uh, and then there was um, Unfest festival was on one year, 2010, uh, so a couple of months after I moved here, and, and there was a band Joy Fat. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Who Very well known around yeah, here. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I remember when, when I was, I can't remember, maybe I was about 15 or 16, I actually seen them play live up, I, I can't, I think it was maybe Leeds or somewhere, some sort of punk all day festival, and I thought, I, thought I, I remember that band. I remember there was a lot of Rice Krispies being thrown everywhere. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so I thought I'd go down and check them out, and then, like, yeah, I discovered the forum and, yeah, like, the whole sort of community. I realised I actually knew a lot of people who, who go there and work there and play gigs there. And, uh, yeah, so that was the first gig I went to, and then, I've you know, I've just been back for quite a few since, and I played my first gig there uh, last July. My, my first gig with this project was playing in the forum. Excellent. Okay, yeah. well, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. That's all we've got time for this week, but if you click the video here or the link in the description, you'll be taken to an additional video where we see a live performance from Frost and he talks us through some of his live setup. Thanks a lot for that, CJ. Uh, you'll be seeing more Eclectric as the weeks roll on here on the forum this week. If you want to see a full performance from Frost, you can do by clicking on this video here. Now, coming up this Saturday, we have a dual headline show between Feldspar and Floodgates. We're going to sit down and talk to Floodgates in just a second, but uh, here's what they sound like. They will change until they have you But they won't lie, they'll just twist the truth But you'll be mine once I've made my move. You've got big brown eyes and your long blonde hair You've got tight clothes, but God knows that you I lie, you don't care I will undress you with these And here they are, Floodgates, hi Hello How you doing, all good? Yeah, we're not too bad, yeah so you've got a show coming up uh, this weekend uh, with uh, Feldspar on Saturday. Um, do you want to tell us a bit more about that? Um, well, we, we um, have a management company that's been working with us for the last year, and um, he's mainly been working with us and Feldspar, who are like arguably one of our biggest 
um, idols at the moment because they're just the harmonies are ridiculous. And um, and he he's let us ha um, have a show co-headlining while they're doing a tour, which is called the Compass Tour around the country. Um, we're jumping in and they're having a bit of a single launch. Cool. So that's the so single you've got coming out. Yeah, it's called You, um, and it's coming out two weeks, 13th of October. I think. So we get like a bit of a preview when the, on the show on Saturday. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Um, how long have you guys been together for? Um, well, together as a four piece, not that long. Um, probably about what, maybe a month, maybe even less than that. But anyway, it started off as just me and Martin. Um, it's coming up to a well, just over a year. We used to do a few gigs at restaurants, so little little events here and there. Um, and then uh, Alex joined us because I kind of had an ultimatum. Like, let's get this sound nice. Let's get it sounding good. Um, well, there was a bit of a funny story behind yeah, that. Yeah, there was a funny story behind that. <laughs> After about a few parties where they were all together, um, Alex's girlfriend dropped Martin a message saying, oh, my boyfriend, he plays the drums and he gets bored a while, you know, all the time. So could you just have him? So we're kind of like... <laughs> Take him off my hands. To, yeah, exactly. <laughs> adopted him. So do you feel like you're evolving as a band then sort of musically? I feel without a doubt because um, when when Tim it was just me and Tim, um, we were just more or less a Mumford and Sons tribute band, which was quite <laughs> awkward because every single cover, uh, and except for one time it was the Kooks, it was just Mumford and Sons, and so um, even a few months when we were were the full band with um, our previous pianist uh, Eden Fish, we were still pretty Mumfordy, and then throughout the year we became a little bit more relaxed on specific strumming patterns and stuff and now we've gotten Xander playing with us. Oh, and so what does Xander do? He's he's a weird amount of genius in the realm of jazz. So we're kind of finding out how to mix jazz and folk together, which is it's just crazy. He's too he's too clever for us. So you're quite a new, quite a, a young band. Um you're sort of 17, 18 years old. Um how does that does that work for you? Does it stand in the way um, at all or I think it that? I think it's quite good cuz we've got a lot of time to get better before anyone takes <laughs> us seriously. <laughs> that yeah, no, and also, I mean, people are less sort of, oh, they're, they're rubbish, because we're young. So, I mean, so so what, so what sort of opportunities are there for bands your age? Um, Definitely, I mean, certainly in Tunbridge Wells, there's a lot of opportunities to sort of play at pubs or even at the forum. And, yeah, no, there's a lot of things going around so you can get yourself out there as a musician. And it's really good. Um, what's the funniest, sort of almost embarrassing onstage incident that's happened to you so far? Oh, there's a good one. Um, during our gig at the Trinity Theatre, I don't think any of them know, but I actually hit myself in the face with a drumstick. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of painful. Did you miss a beat? Uh, no. Ah. It just kind of went up, <laughs> hit me and went back down. And I don't think anyone noticed. It was great. And so why is it important that people come and see you on Saturday? Well, I think we very much, um, more than anything, find ourselves, even with the platform that Tim mentioned on like Twitter, we're doing, we're doing our best, I think. I think we're very much a live band. And um, you can you can say what you want about our recordings, which we are. It, they're probably my, my most proudest possessions, and I'm crazy happy with them. But I think we're very much a live band, and you can never really replicate. Um, <laughs> replicate. You can never you can never really properly um, understand what someone's like live through social media, and the forums um, sort of our favourite venue because it's our hometown. It's our it's our home venue. So um, I think this show is going to be special because we're in our prime and, and we're with our favourite local uh, bands. Like, there's no exaggeration. These are actually our favourite local bands. So OK, brilliant. Yeah, well we look forward to seeing you on Saturday. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Thank you very much. So it was great to sit down with the boys from Floodgates and have a quick chat. Uh, young local Tunbridge Wells talent playing here this Saturday. Dual headline with Feldspar. Uh, we're going to put a video on the end of this episode of them doing an a cappella version of their song Endings. Now I suggest you go and have a look at that when you're finished here. It's absolutely amazing. It's breathtaking. Three guys in a field doing perfect harmonies for this song. Uh, once you watch that and enjoy it, come and see them do it live this weekend. Support comes from Kyla Stroud and Harry Osborne, so make sure you come and see that. Uh, just to give you a bit of a heads up for what's coming up next week, on Wednesday, Mama Zets will be in town with Lonely the Brave and All Us on Drugs. Mama Zets sound like this. And they'll be here next Wednesday. Get your tickets online now. There's a link just below. Get involved. Come down to the forum and make sure you support local music 
international touring music, or just music in general, live music. We love it, we want you to be here. Um, as I say, every week, if you want to get in touch with us, you can on Twitter, Facebook, in the comments below. Whichever way, you can send carrier pigeons if it, if it pleases you to do so. Please just get in touch with us and let us know what you think of the show, what you want to see here at the forum, and anything else we can do to make it a lot better for you. Cheers.